Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. Now, in, in, in case you haven't figured it out yet, I'm recording these before we go. If I was recording these while we were on the mission trip, by this point in time I'd be about like this and my eyes will barely be open and you would be able to see the bags under my eyes. Um, but, but we're giving you a feel of what the youth are experiencing as they work through their theme. Uh, God, God's grace is awesome. Um, today, our, our daily theme for today is Everybody Wants to Rule the World. It was an okay song. I wasn't a big fan of it, but I can probably sing along with it when it comes on the radio. And it has to do, as we continue yesterday looking at the body of Christ, we're continuing to kind of talk about life within the body a little bit. And our Bible reading comes from Matthew 18. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And calling to him a child, he put him in the midst of them and said, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will ever, never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Jesus flipped a lot of things that a sinful, broken world tries to tell us. And in doing so, he kind of redefines how we are supposed to be in relationship with each other as his children. See, Jesus, um, James and John, two of his disciples, one time when, when a village kind of asked Jesus to go around, said, Lord, should we call thunder down on that village because they told you to go around? And Jesus said, no. No, that's why James and John are called the sons of thunder. More than one occasion in the Gospels do we read that the disciples were arguing about who is the greatest. The thing is, Jesus says if you want to be the greatest, what you have to do is be a servant. Greatest isn't who sits at the front of the room. Greatest isn't who, who has the best outfit on. Greatest isn't who has the, the biggest bank account or the coolest toys. No. Greatest is that person who loves his neighbor and serves them. Greatest is that person who walks humbly with the Lord. Walks humbly with the Lord. See, Jesus was communicating to his disciples and us that the sinful, broken world has us competing to crush one another for greatness. That's not how Christ's kingdom is supposed to work. Christ's kingdom is supposed to be his body caring for one another and reaching out to a world and showing his love. Jesus never intended for Christianity to spread at the point of a spear or the tip of a sword. Jesus intended for the gospel, the good news of salvation in him, to spread by his people reflecting his love to the world. And as Christians, help people to experience the grace and restoring power of Jesus Christ. They help start to heal the brokenness that sin creates in the world. We are called to do that. We are called to be that light. We aren't called to rule the world, but we are called to bring hope to it. Look for opportunities today to share that hope. Let, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your amazing love. We thank you for calling us to be your children and blessing us with the support and fellowship of our brothers and sisters in Christ. We would ask you to continue to work through the power of your Holy Spirit so that as we go through our day-to-day -day lives, we may reflect the greatness of our hope, the hope that we have in you. Lord, in your Son's name we ask these things. Amen. Y'all have an awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow for our second bonus devotion of the week, I guess. Bye-bye.